All right, folks, so today, not talking about so much as a piece of, uh, of camping equipment that you can, uh, that you might want to use. This is a, uh, another piece of equipment that is more used for around the camp area or even if you're in the house, uh, around the house, and that is this guy. It's not just any type of knife. This is called a Hori Hori, and we're going to be talking about that today on Relax Mail Reviews. Hey there everybody, hello and welcome to Relax Mail Reviews. Alright, so today I am on the front porch. I hope you don't see too much of the uh, junk and everything that's on there. But, um, talking about the Bare Bones Living Hori Hori, which is a Japanese gardening tool. Hori Hori apparently means to, uh, it means cut, cut. And, um, it is a, a it's a tool that has been used for apparently for I don't know exactly how long. It's for a long time though. But this uh, this particular Hori Hori kind of caught my attention. I, first off, I'd never heard of Hori Hori, but um, I was uh, I tripped across uh, Bare Bones Living and had uh, seen one of their uh, seen their stuff. And I was actually more interested in they've got an axe that is just incredible looking, and I think I'm going to be getting it uh, later on down the road. But I uh, didn't have the money for that, but I did have the money for the, uh, for the uh, Hori Hori. So what is, the, uh, let's, let's cover everything on the uh, uh, aesthetic wise first. Okay, first off, when you get it, uh, it comes in a very stylish box, okay, it's got some box inside, but, um, and it uh, comes looking basically just like this. Uh, you have uh, uh, the sheath, and then the uh, the the knife it's the gardening knife itself. The I'm going to set this down. Let's just first off talk about uh, just the sheath because while it's it does play a, a good part, but it, and, but it's not that important. We'll get to the star of the show here in a second. Um, the sheath itself um, is made of a uh, of a canvas. They did sew um, either plastic. Or cardboard I think it's a type of plastic from what I'm looking on there uh, they did sew some uh, some pl uh, some plastic uh, sturdy plastic into the uh, into the the, the sheath itself um, that is because uh, it, they wanted to be able to make sure it stayed kind of puffed out uh, makes it a little more durable a little more a little stronger also it comes with happen to have uh, to clip it on. You've actually got a belt clip, but you can actually also get a belt strung through the back right here. So behind this is actually a place where you can slide a belt. It is a tight fit, but it works. It is. Uh, you've got a leather strap, and then you've got a little extra. You can actually. I'm assuming you've got something that's more than just decorative, um, but you can actually hang a. Uh, uh, some uh, some other items off of the uh, off the belt it's uh, off the uh, the sheath itself so all in all it's uh, just a canvas on the outside plastic on the inside to kind of protect uh, the uh, the fabric from the from the knife and um, and a clip so it's very simple very easy which is what the Japanese is very very well known for now Let's get to the uh, to the knife itself. Now, for the bare bones living, they've made a few changes to this. One, they have a cord cutting, but also works as a bottle opener. You can actually take a bottle and clap it on there and, and pop the top off of it quite easily. Um, you have a, um, a a straight edge. You have a, a serrated edge, and the serrated edge actually has got a bit of a bite to it. Uh, this, the uh, straight edge is needing a little bit of uh, work and as you can see one of the uh, aspects of a Hori Hori is that it is a got a that it's got a concave uh, blade which is great for when you are you know you're trying to dig some stuff out this works great also for uh, you'll see a lot of people using this for digging uh, uh, weeds and uh, you can you're able to get down in there and stab at the uh, at the roots and get the roots cut so that you can just take the plant out without having to worry about the, the everything coming back uh, 
to a week later because you didn't you only got the top you didn't get the root the uh the other item that i wanted to point out is that you've actually got kind of a flat edge on here and i first i wondered what that was for if it was just so that it fit inside of the sheath nicely and because it does and i'm a bit and i'm sure that's one of the reasons why they did it but also when you set this down that pummel is a lot bigger than uh than the blade well, not a lot, but it's it's a bit bigger. And what happens is if you set that on on an edge, it would typically just roll away. But with that, at least it will stop once it gets to the flat point. Um, the uh, this is got uh, this is connected from tip to uh, tip to end. The uh, but it is not solid. Uh, you actually have, as you can see, a big old fat flathead screw on the end of that, and that screw connects the, the the end cap to the wood um, but this uh, the screw connects to uh, the handle uh, the uh, tang on the on the inside of the uh, of the handle which is then connected to the pommel which is connected to the blade itself so everything is solid you don't have to worry about everything coming uh, you know don't have to worry about a, a piece falling off now the neat thing about that is that you can actually if you're in a need of a hammer you can actually take that and hammer something in with that that's uh, uh, nice and solid. Uh, or if you uh, don't care to hammer anything with it, you don't have to. Uh, the blade is, from. Uh, I've gotten some conflicting information on what the blade is. One person, some people say it's a high carbon steel, but I actually think that what, uh, just looking at the, uh, the sides here and stuff, I really think this is actually stainless steel blade, which, all right, that's got its perks, it's got its, uh, uh, but it's also got its uh, disadvantages. So you're not gonna wanna use this as a throwing knife or anything, but um, it is strong and it will work. It probably is gonna also be a pain in the butt to try to sharpen if you wanna have a good sharp edge on, uh, on the straight side. Usefulness, um, considering that this is gonna be able to be used on not only uh, at the house, but you can use this at um, use this at, at, at the campsite. You can actually use the serrated, to, you know, if you want to chop up sausages or something like that, you can do so. You can also be able to roast uh, roast some uh, uh, some meat by just you know stabbing her on there. I don't know. <laughs> so, but it is a, a good uh, it's a good item to use. I mean, if any if for any reason because it's got a cord cutter slash bottle opener. You gotta have your bottle opener. Uh, or you're going to be wearing out uh, either a pocket knife or a uh, uh, pocket knife or your, uh, or your lighter. There you go, that is uh, the Hori Hori uh, by Bare Bones Living in a nutshell. Um, it is a great little, uh, uh, tool to have you know, for around the house for your gardening uh, uh, for your gardening needs but also for your camping needs so that you can actually uh, you can be, uh, use this for uh, an assortment of different uh, you get attacked by mad squirrels you've got something to defend yourself with so <laughs> so all right folks that's your bare bones uh, hori hori if you happen to like the video if you happen to uh, uh, go ahead and uh, click the like if you happen to like the channel please man give me a subscription uh if uh you happen to really really like uh, what i'm putting out here there's also the bell icon you can click that bell icon and be notified every time i happen to be putting and throwing up a video which is typically every friday so anyhow for the uh for this week you take care we will catch y'all next week and until then y'all stay productive and awesome